Welcome to part one of a four-part series focusing on the CFA recruit course. Recruits are from many different backgrounds, including current CFA volunteers and come from all over the state of Victoria. Operations Officer Chris Bingham, along with some instructors and recruits from the CFA recruit course, will take you through what happens in the 18-week course. So the course is set up to um, take people through what, learning an introduction to base level skills and once they've got them mastered then they start applying those skills um, in the performance of the role of a firefighter and then finally at the end of the course um, they're operating in commensurate with how we would expect a firefighter to operate safely on the fire ground when they go to their fire station. The structure of the course is based over 18 weeks. Uh, we start off with a bit of team building at the start. Uh, we move into some theory area in the classroom. Towards the end of the course, we start getting into the practical side of things out um, in the PLE, practical learning environment area. Most of the training is based out of Vemtech in Craigieburn. Um, we utilise Vemtech Huntley and also utilise Vemtech Bangholm. And this year, Recruit Course 3 utilised uh, Vemtech in Sale. And we also utilise Bendigo Mines, some fire stations right throughout the state. The recruiting process is designed to assist people both to be successful in getting to a recruit course, but also to prepare them for the rigours of what the recruit course will present to them. The recruitment process uh, is an application online first of all, and then we proceed to a beep test and also aptitude test. From there we go to a screening interview. We've got the physical challenge and the final interview. Uh, and hopefully if you're accepted, from there the call saying that you're uh, going ahead. The recruits focus on uh, a whole different range of skill sets. In firefighting industry, you have to have soft skills which are as equally as important as the hard skills. And obviously, the hard skills are the ability to control hoses and put water on fire. Um, but there's also the soft skills and that's about the empathy with the community and the public, the, com the um, community engagement, um, connection with our fire safe youth, um, undertaking fire safe kids programs, you know, so that sort of community education type role. Um, there's also the skills about um, conducting um, emergency medical response, um, so some first aid and, and some um, advanced first aid skills to uh, help preserve life and, and the protection of then life and property. Um, we also do some specialist uh, hazmat skills. Um, and we touch on some technical rescue skills, although it's very much an introduction at the recruit stage, um, which leads then further on to um, a more awareness and training when they graduate and go on their fire station. In the beginning, uh, it's, it's very much um, on the side of the theoretical, so you spend a lot of time inside learning all the, the, um, the theory of firefighting. Um, and then uh, sort of halfway through you start coming outside and you start doing a lot of drills outside um, and the, the course currently is four days on, four days off. The four days off, four days on rationale <clears throat> has a couple of different reasons for uh, its introduction this year. Um, with the introduction of so many recruits coming into CFA, we have to have an adequate strategy uh, and scheduling to allow um, between four and five successive recruit courses across a year, that's the first reason. The other reason is that um, with this scheduling, it allows a little bit more time at home for the recruits. Um, so obviously the four days in the recruit course, they get to focus on the recruit course. The four days home gives them more time at home with the family. The four on four off structure for me um, has been great. It's given me a chance to uh, study and, and learn all the theory side of things, but I also have to put a lot of time into fitness, uh, strength and, and cardio both. So you really need to manage your time, uh, make sure that you, you save enough time for both your physical and your study, but also have a bit of balance and have a, a personal life in there as well. It gets you um, prepared for shift life on station. So currently we work two day shifts, two night shifts on station with four days off. Uh, and the four days on, four days off sort of helps getting you prepared into that rotation. The theoretical side of the course uh, is quite involved. Um, and it definitely surprised me with the amount of knowledge that you need to know uh, and just the, uh, the variety of it as well. Theory is the basis of everything that we do out here and everything that you see behind me, so um, without doing that theory, you'd really struggle. 